hardly talk that fast. Thank you. Thanks, appreciate it. You guys want Larry, when you guys passed the tax cuts last year, you suggested that deficits would go down because of increased economic activity, but we just saw a pretty big deficit number announced by the government. So what went wrong? As a share of GDP, deficits are hovering around 4%. It's no change. And that's the number to look at, the burden on the economy. So the CBO, the much vaunted CBO, actually lowered the deficit. Um, I guess by $1.2 trillion, they raised nominal GDP estimates. Nobody much talks about that. By their numbers, we've already paid for 80% of the tax cuts. So I think that's all good. And as the growth continues, you know, we believe 3% growth, and I think you'll see deficits as a share of GDP keep falling. That's my view. So, no, I, I don't think that's an, an issue, a problem, a mistake, none of the above. But you guys said deficits would go down. They will go down. They will go down. You're still confident in that? I am. And again, particularly as a share, you'll see the GDP share first, and then you'll see the overall number. Uh, we will publish our budget, but not for a few weeks, so you'll see our views on that. But we're sticking with 3% growth. The growth component is the single biggest factor in these deficit calculations. And secondly, we're going to publish a tight budget, tough budget. I mean, the um, president has wanted um, domestic spending cuts across the board, 5% or more. So that will help the story. Larry, can you expand a little bit more on those? You, you mentioned those the glitches in the retail sales Yeah. Just a couple questions. If you can a, expand on what you mean by that, and then secondly, do you believe from any, everything that you've heard as to whether or not the president might sign the spending bill? Or not? He's looking at it. Just got it. I think it came in very late last night. He's taking a look at it, and you'll hear more about that when he's ready. Um, the glitches. Look, first of all, you had 10 days of government shutdown. I regard that as a temporary glitch, as you know. Uh, secondly. Shoppers were very late, according to the National Retail uh, Federation. Shoppers came in very late. I wouldn't be surprised if January was revised up because of that. And, you know, the whole issue of shutdown and, um, and data reporting is kind of tricky and it's going to be kind of jagged. I, I will repeat this point, though. I'm delighted the Fed is on hold. I think that's great. Uh, but, you know, after all, I think the President was right to issue the warnings he issued. Uh, now we seem to be in much better shape on the Fed, and so we won't let that uh, get in the way. And basically, look, this economy is very strong. We're going to stay with our 3% growth estimate. China, 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 you mentioned that the virus is good in Beijing. Can you just identify some progress areas that we achieved through the delegation was here? You know, I'm going to let Ambassador Lighthizer go through details when he's ready to. It's you know not my place uh, here in Washington to do it. He's there. Uh, again, I've talked to the group. They're covering all the ground. They're hard at it. They are going to meet with, uh, with President Xi, so that's a very good sign. And they're just soldiering on. So, you know, I like that story, and I will stay with the phrase, the vibe is good, but I can't give you We're details. I can't give you details. Were you saying, saying, sir, were you saying that the, the One, two. decision on the tariffs has been made on extending the tariffs? That is correct. No decision. Thank you, Larry. As, as far as the one point um, the criticism out there is that that's no different. Than the which? Of the 1.3 billion for the wall. Uh, the criticism out there is that the Democrats were actually going to give him that in December, uh, and then we've gone through the shutdown for no reason. It, do you think this is demonstrably better, at least, than what was offered in December? You know, I think the president has done a very good job persuading Americans of the need for strong border security, including the wall. That's what I think. And I think that's what comes out of this whole episode. We, we will see whether he chooses to sign the uh, latest budget resolution or not. But I, I think the bigger picture here is he has campaigned hard with facts and figures and the right spirit that we need strong border security, including the wall, and that there will be immigration reform down the road. So I, I think he absolutely won that round. Regarding the specifics of it, we'll see how that plays Has out. Did I get you? I want to be polite. Sorry? Has he identified the other funding sources? I uh, No, I can't go there. That's going to be how up to him to announce. How do you think the markets will react to the budget deal? Um, they've already reacted very positively, and I think they will continue to do so. Larry? Are there, Larry? Yes, after, yes. After the meeting with Governor Cuomo on assault, um, he mentioned, did 
there any discussion at all within the administration about any modifications? Um, you know, I'm going to go back and be meeting with Governor Cuomo and his folks. They have some ideas to kick around. We might have some ideas to kick around. So I, d I want to be deliberately vague, because vague is all we have. Uh, it was a very constructive meeting, very respectful meeting. I've known Governor Cuomo for many years. I know his dad very well. And <laughs> Uh, we may have our political differences, but I've, I'm very appreciative of that family. It was a good meeting. It was but a very good meeting. I don't want to get ahead. We, we'll see. Uh, at some point, in the not too distant, uh, I'll be up to New York and we'll be talking about it with the governor and his folks. Hey, yes. Larry, given all the work that needs to be done, is it possible still to get a China trade deal by March the 1st? Well, we'll wait and see. I don't want to make any predictions. As I said, uh, they're hard at it. They're doing well and they're going through all the issues. And um, the vibe is good, you know, the, that's a cut, vibes, cut low, vibes, good, positive, very positive. I want you to cover that. That's it's a really important description of it. By the way, the vibe was good here, too. I, I don't know why people are always so pessimistic. I'm going to play this one from the cautiously optimistic right. side. Yes, ma'am. Since post-World War II, I don't know what number you had in mind. Um, I'll just say this. The president is concerned. He's always been concerned. The way to get at that is to, first of all, keep the debt burden down on the economy. So debt to GDP is the number, just like deficits to GDP is the right number. How do you do that? You grow the economy to its max. You create the right set of incentives. You don't raise taxes to 90 or 95 percent. You don't have a socialist central planning takeover of the economy. You keep encouraging businesses and keep encouraging business and entrepreneurial confidence, the things this president has been doing. And we will see those deficit and debt to GDP numbers come down. That is our view. When do you think we might expect to see that? And secondly, well, it's only been, you know, the tax cuts were late 2017. You've got to give me a little time. We had good 2018, right? 3% growth, right? You didn't expect that. Tell the truth. Just between us kids here, you didn't expect that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take, I'm gonna take the uh, high side of that trade and say we can get there again. And you'll see gradual progress. But really, I must say, I want to see more people working. I want to see those unemployment rates continue to come down. We've had good numbers. I mean, uh, the over 7 million people uh, are ready to come back to work, I think. The quit rate is rising. That's a sign of labor market confidence. People switching jobs have a high wage rate. All these things are fitting into place. That's the key, economic growth and some budget restraint. Larry? Yes? Uh, in, in 2007, you said the economy was uh, strong despite rising deficits and an increasing number of Americans who couldn't make their mortgage payments. Uh, now you have an increasing number of Americans who can't make their car payments rising deficits, uh, what makes now different from 2007 when you were famously wrong? When I was famously wrong. That is really unfair, by the way, mischaracterizing my position. Really unfair. If you go back, you can cherry pick any forecast. By the way, no forecaster had that story right. Fed, CBO, blue chip, no one. I, I don't want to take up valuable time up here. If you actually look at what I said, as 07 and 08 progress, you'll see a different story. Right now, today, why is this different? Because we have lower tax rates, we have a significant rollback of regulations, we have business confidence. You know, one of the key points here, don't want to overlook this, it's kind of the, what I call the new Trump economy. Men and women owning their own businesses. In fact, let me expand that. Men and women starting and then owning their own new businesses. Uh, we were looking at a number, uh, my friend and colleague Kevin Hassett, what's called business applications, just in the last couple of years have been soaring. And that's a great sign. And that's where the best job growth comes from. That's a great sign that people are participating. And we also, you know, have Ivanka Trump has worked very hard on her reskilling uh, so people can switch in mid-career. 
and 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 uh, and get uh, keep their jobs or go on to new jobs. The wage rates are good. All this is different than 2007. Way different. Yes. Um, we certainly have had a lot of entitlement reform with respect to the newest and most difficult one, and that's Obamacare. And we will continue to work on that. Down the road, we'll look at future budgets, and I'm not going to make any announcements on that thing. But uh, we've done a lot on Obamacare, and probably more to come. I want to be fair and balanced to everybody. Yes, ma'am. Growth, 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 and limit spending. Limit spending. That's very important. And we are doing that, and we will do more of it. Um, as I say, the OMB budget will come out in a few weeks, and it's going to be a very tough budget. And I think those are the two principal yeah, ingredients. Cool. One more from a new face or something or other. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Appreciate it. The IRS has been instructed to. Not really data. I'm that I close in the Larry. Larry. Tara from ABC. How are you? Good. I just want to follow up with you on the White House correspondence. Yeah, we're not going to make it. Really? Yeah. The whole administration? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, one of your colleagues <laughs> slightly beats you to the punch. Really? I'm sorry. Oh, you were on the